Nath, 121 appearances over a four-year period here at Bournemouth. Just how do you sum up your time at Vitality Stadium? I think I loved every minute. I loved everything of it. I think um, the minute I came here, I think it was, yeah, it was nice. I felt like family straight away, even though the first six months or so I, I hardly played. It was still like a, a very good dressing room. Um, the fans were good and had a good connection with the Gaffa straight away. So, yeah, it's been it's been very good. You initially came on loan for six months. How pleased were you to make that deal permanent? Yeah, I was very happy. Um, I knew the club, I knew the manager, I knew the way uh, we were playing. So, um, yeah, to have the opportunity again to come back, I think it was quite easy in the end. Um, and yeah, in the end, I think I made the right decision um, being able to play so many games for, for this club and yeah, learn so much over the years. So I think it's been fantastic, yeah. And there are so many moments to look back on. That last-minute winner against Liverpool, again a last-minute winner against Spurs, a goal at Chelsea. Which one stands out for you? <laughs> uh, I think in the end the Liverpool one, um, but also my first one to be honest, because uh, that's what started it. I think um, it was uh, against Stoke. Uh, I think for me personally it was an important one as well because I wasn't really in the team, so that was one of the most important games for me. And um, yeah, I managed to score and managed to win. So. I think that sticks by um, yeah, a lot as well, so um, it's going to be Liverpool, but I think that's that's the second for sure. And you've won a Supporters Player of the Season, the Community Player of the Season, the Junior Cherries Player of the Season, that must all make you feel very proud. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, it's been fantastic. I think I've, I've had a good connection with the, with the fans as well. They've been, they've been superb and um, I enjoyed every minute of it. I can't tell you enough uh, how much I loved it here. Loved living here. Um, it's a beautiful place to to live, and I I, uh, I started to learn uh, about uh, about a lot of people here, and um, also just people on the street coming coming up to me and and yeah talking about random stuff and stuff like that. So I loved I loved every minute of it. And over the last week or so, there's been so many tweets on social media, messages for you. How does it make you feel? You know, when you see how much the fans really appreciate all your efforts here. Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, honestly, it means a lot. Um, yeah, when somebody leaves the club, you, you don't expect everyone to be happy. Um, but I actually felt like everyone was happy for me. And um, yeah, and that, and that means a lot, 100%. Um, so many messages, as you said, uh, social media, but also on WhatsApp and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so many people congratulating us. And, and yeah, I think it's, uh, it's great if you can leave the club like this. And obviously the news has come out that Eddie Howe has left the club as well. Just what has he done for you as, as a player and a person? Yeah, so much. Um, I talked to him on the phone as well and we just spoke and uh, I also thanked him enough, uh, a, a lot for everything. Um, because, yeah, I think he made me the player I am today as well. Uh, he, he made me grow so much over the years. Um, and yeah, we just had the connection from, from day one, as I said. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to get in the team, but w once I was there, um, it went so well. And, and he's the one who, who helped me through it. And I think all the players can say that about him. Uh, he's been superb for everyone. And what he's done for the club, I think, yeah, no one, no one can say he didn't do well. So um, now it's, it's sad to see him leave, obviously, because uh, I think he's, he's the man of the, of the club. If you, if you say Bournemouth, if you say, you say Eddie Howe in my opinion, but um, yeah, hopefully he, he goes on to to, to next next things. And you're such a popular player in the dressing room and with the backroom staff, just how much are you going to miss the lads here? Yeah, so much. Uh, I think this is yeah one of the best dressing rooms I've, I've been in. Um, it's so easy to come to come into the team um, straight away when I came here. Uh, they make you feel welcome, invite you to stuff, dinners, um, around the house and stuff like that. And I, I think that makes playing football easier if you yeah, if you have a good connection with, with your teammates and stuff. Um, so yeah, also to them, I want I want to thank them 100%. I will send a message out to them later as well. But um, now they've been they've been so good for me, and I think for everyone who, who came new to the club, uh, especially as they've been here a long time, most of them. Um, so most of the clubs, it's not easy to get in between that but over here was so easy and everyone's so nice so they helped me through everything and because of them as well I'm able to make this step. 
and you say you'll send a message out to the rest of the squad and the players but what message do you have for the fans who have been able to watch you here over the last four years or so? Yeah, I just simply want to say thank you very much. Um, I loved every every second, every minute of it. A minute of it. Um, it felt like a big family, um, and yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. And 100%, I'll miss everyone, but hopefully, I can come back one day and and, and say goodbye properly. And just finally, while you might be playing your football elsewhere, will there always be always be a little bit of you that keeps an eye out for Bournemouth results? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I know I'm gonna. Uh, I did the same when I went back to Chelsea uh, after my loan period. I always looked out for them, so I hundred percent will, and I will keep in contact with everyone, um, with all the backroom staff and, and the players for sure. Uh, and as I said, yeah, hopefully I can come back here one day and, and say goodbye properly to all the fans because. Uh, it's a shame that it has to be like like this, like quiet and not seeing anybody, but uh, hopefully I can do that one day. Well, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the fans and wishing you the best of luck in your next adventure. Thank you very much.